hide as a silly little dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with I have no mouth. My stomach's growling. And I must scream uh, blind. Now, it's only the beginning of the game and I'm already stuck, which does not bode well for the rest of my adventure. Uh, recently, I managed to shut down the engine, but mm, to be honest, I have no idea what that actually accomplished. My stomach's growling. Looks like a gas oven, big enough to climb in. The gas is shut off. Hmm. Yeah, this seems to be important, but... Usually in those types of games, at least from what I know, as I said, I really only played one other classic point-and-click adventure game mm, before this one, but most of the things are used in some way at some point, mm, and this oven in particular seems kind of prominent, but hmm. yeah, th 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 there must have been some point to shutting down the engine, right? My stomach's growling. Now, all, those to all this talking about uh, his stomach growling makes me think that maybe I have to actually eat the bread, but then it seems to contradict what was written in the psych profile uh, about, you know, bread not being the only sustenance that you need. But then again, again, uh, I assume the psych profile has actually been written by M, so maybe I'm supposed to take any uh, context that is given by the psych profile sort of backwards, which would mean that I am indeed intended to eat the bread, but then I'm not sure what sort of immediate benefit that would give me. The animal's brain implants were released when the engine shut down. At least they're no longer suffering. Mm. Okay, maybe I can return the... the sustenance fluid to the animals to, like, make them stronger or something. Nope. Bitter stuff, but I feel stronger. He just drinks it. Mm. Okay, I don't want to use the lever again, because uh, that literally tortures them. The engine's completely shut down. Mm. Yeah, and the worst thing is, I have no idea what's the point of that. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? Well, I think I can't at this point. I don't know what to do with this. Mm. Why waste my rope on that? Yeah, I'm definitely stuck. Like, this just electrocute my, elect electrocutes myself. Uh, Yow! A few more shocks like that might kill me. Which does not seem to serve any actual purpose. Mm. And this door is locked, and I have no idea how to unlock it. I can't take this book. I already inspected it. Now maybe something has changed with too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. With the turbines, now that I uh, shut down the engine, although judging from the info uh, upstairs, mm, the the zeppelin does not seem to be losing altitude, 
uh, or changing its course or anything like that. So I'm still not sure what the point was. Like I, I've temporarily uh, elevated. Uh, that's not a that's not a word. Uh, temporarily, also mm, you know, eased the suffering of the animals, but. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can use the uh, the sheets to. I don't know what to do with these. Okay, I can't. Just I, I thought maybe. I, I don't know what to do with these. You know, I can clean it and see something important this way, but apparently not. Uh. Mm. We can't do anything with this gore on the table, nor with the things over here. The engines have shut down. Hmm. Yeah, so how... what the... F so that literally doesn't make sense. Like, we should be falling, right? Uh, but then again, as I already said, Am is pretty much omnipotent, so he might as well be keeping uh, the, the, the Zeppelin afloat with the power of his thought. Uh, like, it isn't exactly reality, like it is, but it's so malleable and so susceptible to Am's influence that he can pretty much do anything. But I'm still not sure what was the point. There's blood on my hands. I've got to get it off. Hmm. Interesting. That's, an, that's a different text. I guess that's a reference to the fact that I've tortured the animals. And also possibly to the fate of Gorister's wife. Hmm. Although it, is, it isn't implied that he killed her. It's just implied that he let her uh, get locked inside an insane asylum. It's locked. <laughs> and I, I guess it's also kind of... My stomach's uh, growling. Kind of a Macbeth reference. Because, uh, you know, obviously Lady Macbeth um, had this psychotic breakdown at the thought of being unable to wash her hands of the blood. Uh, of the people that he that she has killed while trying to help her husband uh, attain the throne. So there is that, but yeah, I have very little idea of what is going on, to be honest, because this still says... We're at a level altitude. Yeah, this still says that, so... What was the point, really? This must be the Zeppelin's mooring ring. These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. Yeah, but I still... Come... This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. No idea what's the point of that. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know either. And I would very much like to know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. Hmm. That heart's all wired up like some... And with a... Yeah, but I, it seems I can't... What the... I've been doing that. Or... <sighs> this no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. I could have sworn I've been doing that. Like, maybe I was clicking look at it instead of walk to it before, but I could have sworn I was doing that already and it didn't do anything. Like, that's one thing that kind of annoys me uh, so far in those old 
point and click adventure games, but they are so um, uh, precise uh, with the um, sequence of movements that you have to do, that sometimes, even if I know what I want to do, and even if I have all the items, and even if, like, from a logical standpoint, I, you know, fully understand, like, I pretty much had it nailed down, right? Hold onto this rope to prevent myself from falling over. Mm, and I wanted to do that, but I thought the correct way to do that was to use the rope, literally, mm, to hold on to it. But it turns out I had to click mm, on the heart, but I could have sworn I was doing that and nothing happened. So I'm kind of annoyed at this rigidness of it. Uh, but I understand it's a very old game at this point, and you know, it, it's bound to have some uh, quality of life flaws, if you can even call them that. I, I'm sure some people probably don't even mind that much, mm, but still, let me take the rope, it might still be useful. Now, what to do with my heart, then? It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. What? What? What What does that even... mean? There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Hmm... Can I use it? It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. <laughs> what, that does, what does that even mean? Like, that makes no sense. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Give Gorister's heart to Gorister. Well, that doesn't exactly work. Can I eat my own heart? I must be going mad. <laughs> I guess the answer is no. Uh, well... Some kind of warning light. The label says, power. It's not lit. Hmm. Am I falling now? We're at a level altitude. Nope. But, well, at the very least I... My stomach's growling. I accomplished something. I'm still not sure what that is, but... Maybe now I can use the rope with the hatch. Why waste my rope on that? Whoa! That's a long drop to the ground. Now, it said that the heart is dead. So maybe, maybe I need to, like, ele to electrocute it, to defibrillate it, so that it starts working again, uh, or something like that. The animal's brain implants were released when the engine shut down. At least they're no longer suffering. So let's try... No. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. What are you even talking about? That doesn't make sense at all. Like, this has to be a bug, right? But I want to use... It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Mm. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Yeah, yeah, but I want to use it... Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? But the engine does, doesn't work, so maybe you can use it with the, with the nodes? But, but then again, it seems I can't use it at all, because um, each time I try... I wonder if he says something diffi different now. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Ah, okay, so he did implant the heart back into himself. Um, it just doesn't work, which... Obviously, doesn't make sense from like a scientific standpoint, but as I already established, uh, this is pretty much make-believe land. Like, Anne can do anything he wants, uh, up to and including making people pretty much immortal. Uh, but what I guess, what I guess, it solves is the fact that I can uh, touch this now. Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? 
No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire, so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who among you shall go next? Uh, okay, I'm kind of at a loss here, because it seems that even though Gorister was perfectly capable of being alive without his heart, uh, and I already touched those nodes a couple of times uh, and survived, uh, it seems that suddenly when I put my own heart back into my chest and then used them, it killed me? It seems kind of backwards and weird. Uh, and doesn't make a lot of sense. What I thought is going to happen is that uh, it's going to defibrillate the heart uh, and restart it, sort of. O although, funnily enough, that's actually a, a very popular myth. Like, uh, you don't defibr defibrillate a flatline, um, as they often do in movies. Uh, in fact, uh, defibr defibrillation is supposed to fix like a like an er erroneous um, rhythm of the heart, but the heart uh, has to still be beating for it to work. Uh, if the heart stops, then uh, defibrillation is not really going to help. Um, but still, that's what I thought is going to happen, but apparently it was a mistake. And the worst thing is that I don't think I have saved in quite a long time. So let me... Ah, okay, I guess um, that isn't really a problem, because I can do this, and then... this again. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Hmm. I guess I didn't uh, catch it at first, but he straight up put it back. I'm still not sure why. I'm not pulling that rope trick again. Hmm. Interesting. So the game almost seems to treat the heart as if it was still here, uh, and that's why uh, once I untie the rope. He keeps saying that it's too narrow to reach it, right? It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Yeah. Maybe I can unlock I it. I don't see a lock. Hmm. Okay, but that doesn't really... Hmm. Wait a second. I thought for a second there... A Gorister's portrait was almost smiling? Or am I going mad here? Hmm. What would happen if this gas bag were to catch fire? Yeah, to be honest, like... My I, stomach's growling. I obviously did accomplish something here. But it still feels like nothing. Like, I'm not sure what the point was. Let me save just in case. Mm. Okay, let me drink this maybe. Bitter stuff. But I feel stronger. Mm. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. I guess I, I didn't try to uh, smash the mirrors. What good will that do me? This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. It's bolted to the wall. Mm. Okay, I have no idea, to be honest, why that would cause the Zeppelin to explode. <laughs> 
Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire, so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who among you shall go next? Okay, I have no idea what just happened, and why would shooting the mirror cause the whole Zeppelin to... My stomach's growling. ...be destroyed? Mm. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Mm. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Yeah, it seems to be a bug. Like, obviously... There's something wrong with the heart. Mm. My stomach's growling. Mm. Okay, this, this, uh, th those comments about the growling stomach make me think that maybe I have to eat the bread? And although, what what good would that do in the long run? Like, if my heart straight up isn't beating, then I doubt it's going to start because I eat some moldy bread. I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, that's... It seemed pointless. I wonder if the comments will still persist. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. There's nothing useful here. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't say it anymore. Interesting. <laughs> Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting because, again, I'm like 300% certain I did uh, use the cookbook before and it didn't do anything so it might be that I needed my heart back in my chest to be able to read it uh, because um, it's it's another reference to Shakespeare uh, I, I'm actually forgetting which one of the plays that was it probably was also Macbeth or Hamlet, but basically the milk of human kindness isn't supposed to be an actual milk, like, it, 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 it's like a, a symbolic uh, representation of virtue or, or whatever, but in, in this scenario I guess it is some kind of a mixture. Uh, Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Mm. Okay, so the blood of the innocents would be the blood on Gorister hands or on this key that's the blood of the animals that I tortured. Mm. Mm. I guess the milky fluid could be like the basis because it is, it, it even directly refers to milk, uh, but... But I don't think I can really... I don't see a lock. Yeah, and, 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 uh... Drinking that... Bitter stuff. But I feel stronger. Like, I can't really 
can't really combine it with anything, because he just drinks it. Mm. Strange. The bottle's empty. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, because now he didn't really comment on that? It's empty. Okay. But the label says, poison. Fatal if swallowed. But why does he keep putting it back? Strange. The bottle's empty. Like, if I am to create, like, a potion or something, then obviously I do need a container of some sorts. Wait. Walk to the bread. Oh, crap. This bread's covered with rat droppings. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? I'm pretty sure that's a bug again. This... Where does he take the bread from? Like, I already ate it, and it almost seems like he takes it from the ceiling, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It's empty, but the label says poison, fatal if swallowed. Damn thing looks ready to fall apart. Useless. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Hmm. Yeah, so I need some kind of a container. I guess the bowl of punch might be the container I'm looking for. Because it also, like, it's red, so it, it looks like blood, right? Oh, this punch smells like gasoline. But... Vomit stains. Near the punch bowl. But it doesn't look like I can combine, for example, the milky fluid with it, because he just drinks it. stuff. But I feel stronger. And if I eat the bread, mm, he's just going to eat it. So I'm not sure what the point is. Someone wipe their bloody hands here. I've washed my hands of the past. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so now he's definitely smiling. So that has to be like a good sign, right? But then I do need the blood of the round if I am to create the milk of human kindness or whatever. So, can I take the table? My hands are dry. It's stapled to the table. Mm. Okay, but I guess I... I don't know what to do with these. To, to me, it seems kind of pointless. Like, he, he didn't... <laughs> He didn't do anything to atone. I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I could take it. Uh, for what he did to those animals. He just, like, literally washing your hands does nothing to erase your guilt. Like, if I... So I'm not sure why am I, why am I supposed to treat it as some significant uplifting event. Uh, just because you washed your hands of what you did doesn't make them clean in a, a moral sense. If anything, it 
probably makes you more guilty because like uh, you know the whole uh, idea the whole concept of washing your hands of an atrocity it uh, uh, traces back to uh, Pontius Pilate and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ where uh, Pilate basically uh, disagreed with the idea of crucifying Jesus but uh, he didn't want to uh, antagonize the Jews uh, so he basically said I wash my hands of this whole affair and uh, his blood is on you but uh, to me it seems that you can very much uh, still uh, accuse him of being complicit in that because uh, by the way of inactivity he allowed it to happen even though uh, as a procurator of Judea uh, and the local like government representative he probably could have stopped that if he really wanted so i'm not really sure what's happening here and why is it important but it very much seems that it's somewhat important because uh, the, the, the the background of the portrait has changed and gorister's expression has changed as well so let's look at the cookbook again Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Yeah, I'm still not sure to be honest, but something did happen, I guess. And it is somehow important, I'm just not sure how. Let me take a look at those uh, mirrors again. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Because he... Previously he... Uh, commented on... This no good... On his hands being dirty. the deal here what, what are you talking about are you like is part of my game field like cut off because of resolution or whatever there's literally nothing here like the only thing I I see is the sky so what's the new sheet what's the deal here that's demented like what is it even about? What? What? What just happened? Like... Materials thick, like canvas. I guess I can make a longer rope now? Why waste my rope on that? I guess not. Although maybe I need to... Cut it and then do it, but it doesn't make a lot of sense because... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the rope. What rope? This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. Are you not so what? Like, what is... Why waste my rope on that? What is wrong with this game? I tied the knot too tight. I didn't do it. Like, am I just... Duplicating ropes now? Is that what's happening? Because that would give me... Wait, it's still only... Two of them. These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. Mm, yeah, but... What the? New sheet. What's the deal here? Is it falling from the sky or what? Like, I literally don't get it. What 
What's happening? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that was the time Malwarebytes has decided to remind me to renew my trial or whatever and the pop-up has clouded pretty much all of the screen because of the low resolution. Uh, now, <laughs> that doesn't really help me and again, I'm literally like confused. Uh, is this even like real life? Is this a bug or is it supposed to showcase that the game's world is just crazy and things appear out of thin air because like literally uh, th this sheet has literally appeared out of thin air materials thick and like canvas I'm not sure what the point of it is and when I cut the rope it should give me two additional ones, but instead it just deleted the the, mm, the new one and I ended up with two. So like I literally have no idea what's happening and if and if it's that if that's even intended uh, I it seems I'd like, never get the grime off. It seems I can't combine them. I thought at first maybe I could to create an even longer uh, mm, what would happen if this gas bag were to catch fire? Mm, to create an even longer rope. What would happen if this... Mm, I happen to already know that actually and it doesn't help me in any way. Uh, I wanted to create an even longer rope to... Mm, get down here, but apparently I can't. And... Yeah, I'm very much stuck. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Shooting the airbags causes the... Um, airship to explode. I don't think I can do anything with this. A switch. The label says emergency inflation system. They are already inflated. Oh, I didn't try. I don't know what to do with this. Okay, that literally does nothing. The airbags are already inflated. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm doing and I have no idea if the additional sheet is even used for something or if it's a straight up bug. Like, <laughs> you could say it bugs me. Uh, hmm. Like, what else can I do at this point even? Like, I think I clicked on everything. Maybe I can patch up the hole, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, that does not nothing. It seems there are no new sheets or anything around here. You know what, this episode has been long enough, although most of it has been uh, backtracking and aimlessly wandering around, which I'm going to either cut or significantly speed up, mm, but still, I think I'm going to save here. And that's all for this one, I will see you in the next one, bye!